Hello, my name is Shirley Self and I'm here to talk astrology. Tonight I wanted to talk about the Kabbalah, one of my favorite pictures. Everything is on it. Everything is on it. Astrology, numerology, the Tarot, all the things I'm interested in are on this, on this map, all together now. So I love it. Um, what it is, you know, is this is the golden dawn, the snake upon the tree. And this snake is a path of return. Here from, from our physical reality, we uh, slowly uh, educate ourselves, experience each of these paths as we return to um, what we used to call cosmic consciousness, but to just knowing, knowing. Um, this is the death, this is the separation between the, um, the uh, primal uh, triangle up there, which um, on our thing here includes, I've put Neptune and Pluto up here. I've never seen it put up there, but it made sense to me because I had a dream that told me to put it there, so I put it there. Um, and here's uh, Saturn, and here's uh, Uranus. And then there's this uh, disconnect, the death, the abyss. I love that word, abyss. Um, that we have to cross in order to get back to this cosmic consciousness. Um, so, in our experience, oh, let's let's look at the system here, the zodiac. This is uh, Yates' system of uh, the twenty-eight incarnations that that we do return. Um, and we do it, uh, um, it's, these are the moon phases, and if, if you are, if your sun and moon are um, 90 degrees or less apart, your uh, moon phase is in here, in earth. And um, if your moon phase is um, more than uh, 90 degrees, or your moon and sun separation is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180, then you're in here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What I wanted to sh show you is that this is one uh, climb up the tree, and this is the second climb up the tree. And that's how come you get these two numbers here. It's because um, this experience of going up the tree relies on this last experience it had going up the tree. To uh, to give it information and to guide guide it, um, it's called the creative genius uh, connection up here, and so um, I will um, th those the creative genius actually connects. Oh, for instance, um, to uh, the sun here with um, the high priestess, which makes so much sense because here's the sun. And here's the moon. And so anyway, the, uh, for this experience here, the high priestess, the moon, is uh, the guide for moon phase 2 and 16. Um, so let's see. Where, sh where to start? Um, the, the, okay, so the uh, first quarter experience, Earth, and the third quarter experience, remember we're going up this tree twice, um, Earth and air are this experience. This is that first and the third quarter. And um, water and fire are, are the, um, the things above the waist here. The experience that um, takes you uh, the rest of the way up. The creative experience, the spiritual experience. Okay. Not that it isn't all creative, because it is. We've been up this thing so many times, so many times. Um, let me reiterate, the paths are, we, are experiences. They are subjective. We live them. These uh, are, are the forces. These are the Sephir Sephiroth. Um, probably should introduce them. Malkuth, Yesod, Hod, Netzach. Tifereth, um, Gabura, Chesed, 
uh, Baina, Chakma, and Keter. Uh, so I, I didn't have room for it because I, I know it, and so I just don't write it down because I what's more important to me, the way I look at it, is that I focus on those uh, planetary energies. These are, are the energies, the forces, the consciousnesses that... Um, uh, our 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 energies. We are a combination of all these. Um, okay, let me give you a sip of water and then let's see. So um, here's moon phase uh, one and fifteen, the beginning of the um, um, Earth. Uh, the Earth Quarter and the beginning of the uh, Air Quarter are right here at the card, The Universe. Okay. This is that card. Okay. It's a card of perfection. It's a card, look, she's dancing. Let me back it up here. This is joyously doing the will of God. Um, she is a door, door to uh, new experiences. She is protection. Notice she's uh, um, got a, a circle around. She is in a door, but she is protected by, by these uh, forces. And, and these forces, the fixed signs, are, um, are the archangels that protect uh, moon phase 1 and 15 as they get ready to move into experience. This is the dance. She is in balance. She is in balance because um, moon phase... 1 and 15 are not only the beginnings of a new, a whole new march up here, but are the result of the last trip up. Um, uh, notice up here at the Magus uh, where perfection exists. These are both perfections. The Magus, the uh, final uh, perfection up here, the, the end of the journey. Um, these are both perfections. And um, the difficulty 1 and 15 have is um, uh, wanting to leave that perfection. Wanting to leave that perfection and, um, and leap off into, into a whole new experience. A build, they have to build up desire. They have to build up their own. Uh, your own Venus is very, very personal with you. You have built it. Built it. <clears throat> you have created this... Um, uh, desire nature, your own uh, particular uh, path that you want to go, the things that you want to experience. Um, uh, you have built this up over lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, and that desire is uniquely your own. So, um, so what has to happen here is the buildup of enough desire to do the dangerous thing and abandon perfection. And um, and move on, and this is a problem with uh, one in fifteen and and uh, the magus. What the magus has to do is to say, okay, I, 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 okay, I'm gonna go down here and contemplate um, uh, a whole new uh, trip up this up this um, whoa tree. So um, the next um, phases are the second. Um, in uh, phases 2 and 16, they're the second uh, phase in the uh, Earth Quarter and uh, the second phase in the uh, Air Quarter. And a bunch of energy is dumped into the beginnings of the quarters. And this is a high, high energy uh, uh, card. And it's a sun. And it's... Uh, uh, 2 and 16 have to live this energy and work their butts off, you know, to contain it. Um, I didn't talk about judgment, which I'll have to do in a minute. Here's, here's the uh, Golden Dawn version of that. It, it is, um, shows, the, shows the protection and the joining that is still available to 2 and 16. This um, uh, connection... 
that they've worked so hard to build is still go. And these two are just ripe for experience. There they are in the garden. Notice the fence around them. There is protection. There is protection. Um, the sun is uh, one of its uh, key words. It, it is the head. It's um, a, the place where experience becomes knowledge. The weight deck if you'll remember, has the little guy um, riding a horse. And the horse has no bridle nor saddle. And um, it's just a card of experience it or you'll never know it. Experience it to find out who you are and what you're capable of. Um, these people sort of kind of wander around um, uh, just doing what whatever appeals to them. Um, they don't have a strong focus. They're simply to experience because it's self-discovery right here. Discovery of personal power. Um, here, I skipped over judgment. Now, judgment and the moon are real important. They're kind of a, you know, there's the support for all this. Um, judgment, and here's that card. I'll show it to you here. Um, focus it here. Okay. Judgment um, is uh, one of its keywords is tooth. Um, it's fire. And that angel there is Michael. Now what judgment is, is the spirit of the times. It's a awakening, uh, this guy here, awakening to him to abundant life. Okay, this is um, what's pretty much what's going on in the culture in uh, society, in the, in the environment in which you live, the outer environment in which you live. Um, this is, uh, this is a, a, a car, um, card of practical choices, and it, it wants you to be, be able to d survive in, in this uh, society, and so the, cho the um, awaken to um, your own fire, that will guide you through through life. And 2 and 16 have awakened to their fire and um, uh, ha have to um, ride that horse uh, to, in order to learn how to ride that horse. The other card that uh, is so important right here is, is the moon. Now, the moon is, uh, is, is Pisces. It's sleep. It's the ear. Now, um, the moon is a card of uh, deception. It's caused by the apparent uh, power of uh, physical forces. This is a one's own pure animal nature, one's own physical, physical forces. This is body consciousness. And, um, and it's a card of birth death and resurrection and uh, the next phase 3 and 17 um, are uh, 3 in the earth's quarter and 17 in the air quarter are uh, phases that have to deal with death uh, with the um, reality and, and uh, both of these uh, phases uh, have um, have to deal with that reality, and it's a shock to the system. Can cause a great deal of cynicism and sorrow in these in these phases. Um, so, it, um, but the wonderful thing about uh, three and seventeen is that their their uh, card is this one right here, the star. This is with beauty. Yeah. Um, now, a star is Aquarius, it's the imagination, and it's also called the hook. It's Aquarius. It's Aquarius. It's the means of perfection. Here we've got, uh, um, this is Aquarius, ruled by Uranus, and all of a sudden, these people have uh, an ambition to, to own this, to fulfill this. And they, uh, and they have the means of doing it. Both of them have a lot of energy, and um, ha well, they have to deal with tremendous, tremendous losses 
Um, the moon here is ruled by Pisces, remember. And, um, well, they have to deal with a, a lot of losses there. They have uh, to inspire them. Let's see where, where we go here. Um, 3 and 17 are going to be focused on 13. Aha! Inspire them here. Uh, on Here we go. 13 and 27. The Empress. Because the Empress is uh, virtually your your potentials, between uh, your your genetic limitations and the blueprint of what you should can become by striving, uh, that's to quote Yeats, um, is the Empress your own potential? She's ruled by Venus, and this uh, uh, card, the Star, connects uh, the Moon and Venus, so that it it virtually the Moon is and is saying. Um, the moon is, you know, your, uh, is your, um, she contains all that you've been, all that you, all that you've experienced. Uh, she's your source of instincts. She's, uh, uh, how you read your senses, how you know what your senses are telling you. Excuse me. So, um, the, um, the moon is, um, uh, going to instinctively uh, guide you to um, your own your own natural path here. Your own. Uh, this is a card of ambition. Um, it's also a card of self reliance. These people have to abandon, the, um, uh, often unwillingly, uh, abandon uh, the way mom and dad did it. You know the cultural expectations because they. They have to uh, follow their own uh, heart's desire, their own heart's desire here. Um, so uh, then we come to a really interesting thing here, the tower. Here's, uh, here's the tower. And it's quite as yeah, difficult as it looks. It is, um, it's Mars. It's Mars. It's also called the mouth, and it's a double, uh, um, a double. The doubles work both ways. There, the for instance, the mouth. Uh, the mouth um, speech comes out, and notice we're connecting Mercury here, uh, your own uh, consciousness, with uh, your uh, heart's desire there, or your desire nature. And um, and is this virtually a card of if you want it, you have to get off your high horse, abandon your fear, and quit expecting it to be given to you, and do it, do it, do it. Because after you've after you've experienced the star here, you pretty much say, okay, you, your ambition is has kind of settled on something. These people are specialists here, um, uh, and, and they say, ah, I'm going this direction, this direction. And they have to, um, it's a difficult card. These people often had to be, have to be the, the daemon. Their daemon will come and kick them right in the butt. And, and trying to get them to move because they're really reluctant to move. This is, this is a difficult, difficult card. Uh, mostly what these people have to do is learn to speak up. Not only uh, work uh, on their own ambitions to become uh, and to uh, experience uh, th this uh, ambition here, this um, um, part of their uh, their potential here. Um, these people have to have to learn how to speak up, to able, not only be able to, to defend themselves, but mostly. To be able to say, wait, I've noticed, and they're very, their very, their vision is excellent. Why? Well, because here it is. Here is their create their creative genius is the emperor, twelve and twenty six here, and the emperor is uh, has a window here into the world, and uh, ruled sight, and these people are uh, can see what's going on, and must say, wait, wait. Uh, you may assume that that's going to work, but I've noticed that isn't going to work. And have to have the guts. This card takes guts. Um, you have to have the guts to be to go against um, the the tide here, and uh, speak up. It's hard for them. 
But um, this is a card of words of power. Words of power. These people are here to destroy false concepts. And that's another meaning of this card. Destroying false concepts. And that's the tower there. That is being uh, was hit by lightning. Hit by, hit by uh, consciousness. Hit by uh, insight. Okay. Um, this... Uh, this is a this part of one's spiritual de development is not all sweetness and light. It is very difficult. A spiritual development, spiritual development, requires every one of these cards has its own particular hell that you have to experience, that you have to work through. Um, it, 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 here it requires abandonment virtually a self-reliance which means virtually abandonment of uh, of, of this of this uh, the maternal matrix is what it's called um, but this this card this uh, notice how difficult uh, this is a red one here and that means that you don't get to skip this one the rest of them, if you do really good work somewhere, you can uh, uh, skip it, own it, and move on. But this one you've got to experience in body uh, because this is a, a decision making. There's always a decision on, uh, at these uh, important ones here. There's a decision and that requires physical input. So um, where are we now? We're here. Oh goody, the devil is next. The devil, um, we, our, our idea of the devil has been really tainted by Christianity. Sorry. Uh, when they turned Jesus into, uh, into a impossibly good uh, God, um, then they, you know, we're a dual-minded bunch here. And we have to, if you got, you can't have one without the other. If you got something so terribly, terribly good, and you have to have something so terribly, terribly bad. So they chose to make that nature and women, as because women are, uh, we're closer to nature than men. And so anyway, uh, so they invented the devil, which it, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. These people are very powerful. This is 5 and 19. They are, um, uh, uh, the, this is, these are uh, two of the rectangle of power, 5 and 19. And um, this is what they have to do. This is a this is something you got to do here. This uh, devil's ruled by Capricorn, and um, it's uh, the eye, and it's mirth. Okay, it's not an evil being; it's a mystery to be solved. And one has to do that before you can uh, start to own and work on that higher self. You know, be in communication with that higher self. This guy is a master of manifest form. He, you see him. He's, he is um, he's what appears to be the eye. That's why the eye rules this guy here. Um, he is what a, a, a appears to be. And you have to learn to see through that. You have to learn to see behind the veil of reality before you can um, move on up, up the ladder. Um, this is a, a, a Capricorn here, is an initiation in power. It's an in, initiation into self-control. And 5 and 19 are kind of awesome people. They're often uh, kind of frightening people because they have a lot, a lot of power. They're uh, uh, united in, in purpose, and um, which is something that this isn't united in purpose. And it also makes it difficult. Um, this one is united in purpose. Both sides of the brain are focused on uh, coming together and making a difference here. And boy, did they make a difference. The Dalai Lama is a moon phase five. Mm. Um, so um, these people are... Um, okay, this is going from... Uh, the, this is limitation. This is expansion. Um, this is a, a pillar of severity. And this is a pillar of mercy. 
and it makes a huge difference because these are these this over here is uh, um, rather this is limitation comes down to from Saturn which is you know all our limitations our genetic limitations our uh, um, the limitations of the times and that's what we're trying to break through all here is the limitations of the times mm. and uh, vir virtually to uh, break through our own genetic limitations because we are creators and we are creators of ourself so um, there uh, the um, these people try to break through the limited understanding of the time of the times okay And um, and in order to do that, of course, they have to fight with um, whatever they cho they choose to change. It's never easy. It's always a struggle. It's always a. Uh, a um, but uh, what they're impo is important to them is Capricorn. That the system uh, continue to be updated. You know, times change. And it's these people that are at the forefront of the change. These people and their uh, their creative genius, uh, eleven and twenty five. Those people are at the forefront of change of our times, and they're uh, fighting against, or not. Yeah, they're just trying to keep limitations, you know, workable. Um, so, uh, oh, to show you this one. Uh, Notice the t pentagram in there. His head is a pentagram. And it is pointing down. And that is, you know, th that uh, the limitation of ah, the eye. Um, what do they call it? The aristocracy of the eye. Versus, and here's smell. The democracy of smell. Um, what the eye sees. These people have to penetrate. And um, where was mirth in there? I don't remember. Um, uh, because the limitation of uh, the veil here, that these people are, these people use uh, laughter to change things. And the de that's what the devil is supposed to uh, um, bring, to, bring into your life, is laughter. Laughter changes things. People don't like to be laughed at and will uh, often change their behavior yeah, because of that. Okay, where we come to temperance. Temperance is cool. I really like the card. There she is. She's standing on earth and in water and um, pouring them back and forth. Back and forth to mix them. Um, to mix, uh, I'm sorry, not the earth and water, but to yeah, uh, to mix uh, the um, logical mind and the um, and the subconscious mind, and that's what these people are are, are doing, and and they have done, and they are uh, powerful people because of it. Uh, they are here to learn temperance. This is a um, a um, a card of probation card of testing and this is a lifetime lifetimes here six and twenty of probation of testing and what they're trying to do is to find their own um, limitations they go out of bounds notice this rule by Sagittarius they go out of bounds to find new boundaries this is uh, the prop and in by their lives these people can raise this um, give more room here. Give um, um, this is character here. This is character right here, and this is the expansion of character. And it's six and twenty that do it um, um, by finding the proper limits because they are um, they are in, in expanding. Um, well, they're Jupiter. They're uh, they're ruled by Jupiter. This is. Uh, Sagittarius here. Let me see their, uh, where's their, their creative genius is 24 and where are you 24? Here we are. 
10 and 25. Ooh, strength, yes. Okay, um, we've got Sagittarius, and we've got here uh, the solar connection to Jupiter, between uh, Mars and Jupiter. Strength. They're trying to expand their strength. They're trying to, trying to grow in strength without, have, without um, uh, exceeding virtually their own. The chariot has to do with your own boundaries. Within these boundaries, is perf you can uh, function in perfection. It's, uh, it's a fence. It's within, these, within your fence. You can grow your garden, and it will be safe, and it will be productive. Um, but these people are here to push the limits. They're here to expand this, uh, uh, their character. And um, so they often run amok. Um, but they are uh, there to learn uh, self-discipline. And, um, uh, okay, the um, Sagittarius, the arrow of Sagittarius here, is also a glyph of Mercury, a glyph of Mercury. And it is a virtually the uh, directed will, the mentally directed will. It's, I guess, what you focus on and how you focus it and how f much energy you put into it. Anyway, um, 6 and 20 are interesting. They're, they're, uh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle to find their boundaries. They often go too far. And slip right out of the promised land into oops. So after you come after you deal with temperance here in the moral this is the moral uh, rectangle you come to death. Now death is cool here. Um, uh, this guy this this is the golden dawn death. Uh, it's got the skeleton. Uh, it's ruled by Scorpio. It's um, the skeleton has to do with your basic. It's basic. It's basic to your body, and therefore it, it implies the basic, your basic character. And you know, here we have um, this is character right here. And um, it's uh, character is a, a virtually a skeleton, a skeleton. Uh, 21 is getting ready to go into the spiritual uh, quarter, the quarter of fire. And they have built a skeleton of uh, uh, a, a mind. They have built a, a mental structure that then in the um, fire quarter is going to be filled with spirit. And um, um, 7 has a basic earth character. Uh, uh, the skeleton that is uh, the, their, um, their masters of earth. They know how the body works. They know how to do. Their body knows how to do. Uh, and so their body is a, virtually a beautiful tool. And so as they go into the, uh, into the water quarter, which is a quarter of creativity, they are going to uh, turn themselves into um, creative people out of with this tool. They will learn to create something with this tool, and then what they will create is virtually a new themselves. So uh, this this card you see up here, the snake turning into the eagle, is a Scorpio sign. This card is ruled by Scorpio, and one of its keywords is bliss. Why? We're talking about the little death here, the uh, Scorpio, that um, coming together with another person that virtually teaches you who you are. It's um, a dropping into the power um, chakra, but opening up the heart chakra, and uh, it's a revelation to you, uh, because as the, as the heart discovers its own power, that's what Scorpio is about. Scorpio is the... Car is the uh, um, a sign of know thyself, um, and the way you can you learn to know your, yourself is Mars by by acting in the world, or by the sex act, which is I think the sex act is probably Pluto. 
um, yeah, especially if it creates a baby. That might be the difference between the Mars and the, the Pluto. I don't know. Anyway, this is a card of death. It's also, um, it's all, um, characteristic power we're talking here. That's what Scorpio is about. Your own power. It's your own characteristic power. A unique power. And um, uh, what 7 and 21 have is uh, authority over themselves. That's what they're going for. And that's what their life goal is, is uh, authority over the self. Now, before the uh, uh, 8 and 22 can rest at justice, they have to deal with the hanged man. The hanged man. Now, he's a mystery. He's obviously a reversal of perspective. And if you're getting ready to go from one quarter into the other, which is what 8 and 20. Eight and 22 are doing. Um, that is a reversal of perspective. Uh, the, um, he's ruled by water. Uh, you know, and water is, is ha always has to do with consciousness. Um, it, it talks about um, physical union with the divine. Making a connection with that... that um, consciousness that is virtually in the body uh, suspended down into the body the uh, uh, one of the crosses um, the weight deck the weight hanged man is hanging from a Tao cross which is this guy a T and that that uh, Tao cross shows that what's important here is that spirit Spirit is contained down in that in that earth, is at the is at the bottom of that T. It's um, and uh, that's what um, eight and twenty two have accomplished. Is they have discovered <clears throat> their earth and and um, their their air. So, um, but it, okay, they. Um, the um, hanged man. These people are are uh, have completed a quarter. They are special. Um, but the hanged man is a baptism of water, and um, it's rough. An eight and eight and twenty two is difficult. It's um, it's a decision making. You have to decide what you're going to do. What you're going to do? Um, get, decide, and this is an air sign. They're, they're uh, the only other card there. There is no. They're each other's creative genius, but they're connected to the fool. The original word um, that created you, the original vibration. The high priestess is the vibration. The original idea that. Uh, that uh, that became you, that you are uh, living through, living, um, yeah, living through. So that's the baptism. This is a baptism of uh, uh, water, and um, and it's all the baptisms are rough, as judgment, uh, finding your own path in here. This judgment can be rough. This is a baptism of fire, and the fool. Is a baptism of air, hmm. and that's that's what you, you're going to have. The uh, fifteen and one, when they get ready to uh, plunge off, they've developed a new desire to do something, and as they plunge off into a, a new quarter, they are encounter. They have dealt with the fool, and um, and. Okay, um, I think that's about all I want to tell you about the hangman. He is a mystery. The mystery is, where in you is that spiritual power, that spiritual understanding, water, that spiritual consciousness? Where is it? Find it.
and, and pay attention to it. It's um, on the uh, pillar of severity. It keeps you on your path. It'll keep you on your path. So then we come to justice. Nature says justice is okay, I guess. I, uh, um, I'm using the uh, uh, Golden Dawn card, even though I tend to like the weight uh, uh, Major Arcana a lot better. I'm, I'm used, more used to them. Um, but I didn't want to take my cards, my deck apart um, in order to do this for you. Um, just didn't want to take it apart. So you're going to have to deal with, this is the Golden Dawn. Uh, this is the Golden Dawn Justice. Justice. He's, um, he's Libra, of course. You see the scales there. He's Libra. He's um, the ox code. He's work. Now, um, he's, okay, he's interested. He's in the ox code. And he's connected, like I said, with the fool, the ox. Um, work. Uh, come into balance. He's, he works to keep the fool, this original idea, um, it, it, within bounds. Uh, to keep it balanced, um, that's justice. Was oh, and he has a sword because he's he's a corrective force, and often and that requires uh, uh, the mind making a decision. That's a that's a sword. The sword refers to um, a uh, um, sudden uh, mental awareness, an idea. Um, but it's the ability to um, make choices. Justice. Okay, and 8 and 22. They have a rough time. And I think it's because of the, it's a continual initiation phase. It's a, um, a continual baptism phase. And they often will just go to hell. I mean, they'll, a lifetime, after a couple of lifetimes stuck at 8 and 22, they can um, turn to drink. And they can become um, a, a mere a mere fragment of themselves. Uh, they will deteriorate. They'll deteriorate until finally the courage builds up enough. Look, they gotta have the Mars there. They have to have enough courage. 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 It's hard. It's a hard one. Um. Oh, and, and it is, uh, the card of justice is what keeps your little uh, vehicle on the road, on the path. This is your vehicle, and here's the path. Okay, and so we come to, all right, we're going to come and, and, and 9 and 23 have to deal with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Here, here's the uh, Golden Dawn Wheel of Fortune. Here's the, the Sphinx. That's the Keeper of the Gates. And um, the Wheel of Fortune gives us what we earn. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter. Notice where it's going over here. It's ruled by Jupiter. It's, um, it's a, one of its images is the fist. And that means you've got to hold something. You've got to grasp on something. Jupiter. Um, that guy down there at the bottom, below the wheel, is called a Plutonian Sinocephalus. Actually, he's just a baboon. Um, he, he's a, um, he's the little, uh, he's a little girl, he's a little guy that follows Thoth around and writes down everything thoughts, thought. T H O T H. How do you say that? Thoth. Everything Thoth says or thinks. So, um, and, and so that it's talking about you as you think, as you think, and and it has to do with memory. Um, as you have, as you have written, and, <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting because. Um, your your history is supposedly written on your uh, your uh, um, 
what is that back there? That bone on the back. I cannot, I can't seem to jump into anatomy. Anyway, it's written on that bone that supports the tailbone there. It's your sacrum. It's written on your sacrum. It's the bone you take to heaven. Anyway, so you've written it down by your actions, and the wheel takes you up or down according to. Except that 9 and 23, 9 goes up and 23 comes down. 9 goes up. And 23 comes down. Um, and and um, they... Uh, okay, I'll show you that card here. That's the hermit. Now that's carrying your light out into the, in, into the world. Nine has to decide what's, what, they, what passion, what passion they've got. Um, and the and their body will tell them. Um, their body will also tell them. Um, we like to um, eat and um, drink and uh, smoke and. Uh, but you know, they you have to learn self control. You have to learn self control. Um, uh, and they have to learn. They have to. It's Virgo ruled by Virgo for Christ's sake. So, and it's also called the hand. It's the open hand. It's the hand of God. Um, the, uh, the nine, moon phase nine, which is the first um, moon phase in the water quarter, the quarter where you discovered and learned about your own creativity. Um, but the, they have to uh, virtually... Follow their passion, uh, and and do something with it. Um, I know a woman uh, who uh, her passion was birds, and she raised them by the thousands, which was an issue in itself. But um, to follow your passion um, that comes that is in your heart. Um, and twenty three has to get off its high horse. It's 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 a. a it's virtually at the top of the 20, 20, phase 22. It's virtually at the top of the chart. Let me show you right quick. And they feel like the king. Um, and, but they, they, it's disconcerting because the world no longer caters to them. And um, what they have to do is virtually get off their high horse, come down off the mountain, and um, be of use. Be of use. And that's what the, uh, um, that's what the hermit does. He carries his light either out into the world, like a moon phase nine, or down off the mountain. And uh, it, when the king comes down to the people, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. The hermit is the hand of God. Um, and because it's Virgo, that's the power of the word. The word is, <laughs> word is important. Speaking up is important through this whole thing. And um, 23 is notorious for its Ability to t t tell it like like it is. Uh, um, Oscar Wilde was a twenty three. Oh, he was um, he was a magician. He was a magician, and it's interesting that um, um, the the hermit he that is kind of a magician. He carries a staff. He has spiritual power. He has spiritual power. He's a magician. Um, so, um, Virgo, oh, I was, that's what I was going to say. Virgo rules magic. When you do magic, it's important that you do magic under a mutable sign, and Virgo is very good for it. Mutable sign, because if you're going to throw your power into the mix, it helps if the mix is actually moving. You follow? So, um, okay. 
Virgo. The next card is Strength. This is a really cool card. And it is it connects Mars and Jupiter. And um, here's... Here, wait, let me get it to you. Here's uh, the Golden Dawn Strength. That pretty much pretty much says it all, you know? This is willpower. This is the power to control your own physical desires, your own physical body. That, and you do that by controlling your emotions. Um, that's the power of the physical. It's, um... Okay, the 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 card. This is the path on which um, light, uh, which is also passion, known as Leo, light, and he, light is one of the words of uh, Mars here, where light becomes consciousness. Okay, I'm sorry, I got that ass backwards. Well, this is light. This is limitless light. Limitless light is, yeah, it's just, it's higher consciousness. Um, but this is mostly passion here. Passion will lead you, um, and when you control your passions, uh, it, will, it will lead you to a higher consciousness. It, it just does. It just does. Because then you have, you have control over what you do, you have control over your body. You have control over your emotions, and if you do that, you have you have control over other people. If you can control yourself, it's self mastery. That is a card of self mastery. Um, that mastery is obtained in the sixth house, Mer or um, Virgo. It's a card of weakness, and and it's where you go, what you work on, to master yourself. It's a card of, uh, it's a card of uh, uh, apprenticeship to yourself. Okay, and then we come to one I really like. Um, I've already mentioned the chariot, eleven and twenty-five. I ha have to deal with this dude. He's your fence. He's uh, he's an enclosure. That is uh, supposedly Odin, uh, who rides in the god of war, and he notices he's, he's wearing red, who uh, rides the chariot. It's uh, Cancer, and it's speech. Yeah, I know it's kind of it's kind of strange, Cancer. Huh? Um, actually, Odin isn't a god of war; he's a god of spiritual development. Sorry about that. Um, he's a higher order of war. Um, you think this spiritual development is what, not a war. It is a terrible war. If you want to go to heaven, you got to go through hell. Um, now, the chariot has a lot to do with the ability to resist temptation. Now, uh, 11 and 25 are, one of the, are two of the power rectangles. Uh, they're uh, the power... Uh, the power uh, card, or phase, sorry, in the uh, water quarter and the power phase in the spirit quarter, spiritual quarter. Um, so the the chariot is is ruled by the uh, the the moon, Cancer, and it's it's. Um, it's the, those parameters in which you take care of yourself. Like I said before, you work within within your uh, within your boundaries, um, and and remember those boundaries have been expanded. We work within those boundaries. We were successful, um, but it, it it you have to resist temptation, and that's a, a problem for eleven. And 25, because they can often run amok. The power rectangle. Uh, um, you learn to control your uh, power by using it. You know, it's like you learn to ride your horsey by uh, riding it around. Um, 
Okay, uh, the, so the, the chariot is, is guided by the moon, which is um, your instincts, your senses. Okay, and then we come to the lovers. The lovers. Um, not my favorite card of the lovers. That That is um, Andromeda and Perseus and the, the wicked dragon. And uh, the, actually had, he had Medusa on his, his shield. He had just cut off her head. So, um, and it's, it's, it's interesting. It, it, it's, it speaks really well to Moon Phase uh, 11 um, because what Moon Phase 11 is struggling to do is to, is to save its own um, uh, loving nature to its own purposes. Because as Aleister Crowley pointed out over and over, if you don't use your talents, if you don't use your uh, your um, abilities, the world will use them. It will use you up. It will use you up. There's there, no doubt about it being true, as far as I've noticed. Um, so the lovers. It doesn't uh, show the uh, the thing that I think is most important about about eleven and um, twenty five. Is that there? You're you're joining the two halves of the brain in a very high order here. Uh, and and like I say, the two halves have to come together because the the um, logical mind has chosen to fight for for its own um, uh, its, its own desires. It, the subconscious mind, if, if the logical mind is without the subconscious mind, it is cold and cruel and brutal. And I think that might explain a, a lot about um, uh, what I consider, it's not that I like any religion, um, the Muslim religion is the, the uh, the male brain, the logical mind, it's by itself. If the, the does not pay attention to the subconscious mind, to the moon, um, it's nasty, just nasty, selfish, pig. Okay, where was I? Oh, the lovers. Um, okay, it, it's okay. The sword. As and he has a sword here. Let me show you that sword again. Is perception, is analysis, and the ability to make decisions, and that's always nice. Oh, one thing I want to tell you about the lovers. Uh, remember that the lovers and the devil uh, are are connected. The I remember the aristocracy of the eye and the democracy of the nose. And so, um, um, there is truth there. Um, Saturn up here, in throne, it's a throne of understanding. It's ruled uh, by water. And um, so, understanding, smell, n does not lie. Smell does not lie. Okay, then we come. Bam! All. 12 and 26 have to deal with the Hierophant. Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. You notice the bulls there on the, the throne. The Hierophant is hearing. Hearing. The ability to listen to yourself. The ability to listen to your intuition. Notice that the Hierophant is over here in the, on the Pillar of Mercy. And the ability to listen to your intuition is very important. Taurus. It speaks through your body. It speaks through your body. It's, uh, you listen to your intuition. The Hierophant um, it unites the above and the below. 
now when when you got uh, the when you consider the hierophant, uh, and we consider the emperor and the high priestess, this is the Garden of Eden. You think it isn't hard though; it's very difficult. But it is Garden of Eden because it's it's bringing one back to one's senses. It's opening up, you up to your own senses, your own self. I heard fonts at your teacher. And then uh, we come to 12 and 26, a couple that cannot be skipped. And we come to the emperor. Now, the emperor is a window. Uh, he's sight. He's ruled by Aries. He's ruled by Aries, and therefore he's connected with Mars. And the emperor is connected with the tower. 12 and 76. 4 and 18 are creative geniuses to each other. So that the tower, um, what, what will keep the tower going, is, is urged to be, to become, who he can become. And that's ruled, ruled, by, ruled by Aries, Aries, Mars. And then remember the sun is exalted in Aries. Okay. So there's the emperor again. And in his hand is the Orb of Dominion. Now the Orb of Dominion is there at the third eye. Um, and it's ruled by sight, which means that it's two ways, back and forth. Um, uh, the Sun and Uranus communicate back and forth by means of the emperor, which is requires a great deal of uh, inner sight, inner sight. Twelve has um, has to turn and look inside the self, and become united inside the self. In the brain, the two brains have to become united, because then it, it can see what it can become, what has been the idea, the original idea. Of what he can become by striving, and twenty six, as uh, the sight into twenty six. Let's look at twenty six. It's over here. It's over here, and it's it's almost done over here. Um, Yates said you you don't have to live these if you don't have if you've done good work, you can uh, live these uh, earth involved but not incarnate. I have theories, and Yeats had theories. He said, you, uh, like you could, um, you could be the um, spirit of a spring or something. Of course, he was Irish. Okay, um, so the, um, let's see, the emperor here had, is a window. It's sight. And so we, that explains the orb of dominion, the third, the third eye up there. Um, and it's uh, where the, what has been general becomes very specific, specific. That Uranus is, is um, you are very unique. Nobody else is like you. What you think and do and 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 what you are is very specific to you, not borrowed from anybody else, God willing. And um, so, then we come to the Empress. Now she's cool. I don't. I don't. Um, Actually, the weight empress is is way overdone. She's got you know harps and hearts and stuff like this. This one looks a little feels a little cold. The empress is that uh, connection card between Saturn, which is the head of the uh, pillar of limitation of severity, and Uranus, a head of the pillar of mercy. And your blueprint. So um, she's the door of understanding. Understand, she's a, the pearly gates. She's the mother Gaia. 
See some Mother Gaia. Well, look at where she is. Right here. Right here. Up there on the, uh, the supernal triangle, that's called. She's goddess of desire. She's uh, Venus ruled. She's um, growth. Growth and destruction. Uh, well, you know, spring and fall. Um, uh, the a little Ankh, the Ankh, if you'll notice, she carries one there, and it's a symbol of uh, male and female. Okay, and it up in here is where where you have to start realizing that that um, that you're responsible for uh, how, what you they think, and um, because she is the door of understanding. She is the door of understanding. And it gets to the point, you know, where where you know where you know who you need to be. And uh, and to betray that is not a good thing. Um, this is Chiron. This is where Chiron runs. The the Chiron um, and the wound of Chiron will tell you where your door to your door of understanding is. And these Runs back and forth, back and forth. Chiron runs back and forth. Um, here's you, you say it, telling, uh, carrying your limitations up to Uranus, which breaks them apart and uh, makes possible whole new things. And then you make that a form, and then you carry it back. And and anyway, that's Chiron, um, the great mother. And that's thirteen and twenty-seven. And what they both have to do is decide what in the world is important to them. Like 13, 13 is, um, uh, has, has got to sort the world into what is important to him, what it needs to bring to him or her. And 27 has to uh, just kind of sort the world and, and decide what's important for 27 to do out in the world because they're kind of gardeners of, of the world. As you would expect... Of, of the Empress of Venus being a gardener and um, and 13 is a garden and needs to nourish it nurture and nourish it properly and has to choose from what's offered in the world has to pick, pick and choose so then we come to um, the high priestess the high priestess 14 and uh, 28 this is just before the full moon, just before um, the new moon, or what you might say, the dark of the moon. The high priestess, she's ruled by the moon, of course. You can see that right there on her head. Notice the ripples around her, because she is the vibration. Let's look at where she is. Okay. You've got... Um, you. You've got the original idea of you. You've got all this potential here. And then you've got the vibration that makes it happen. And if, you'll, if you've read any old um, uh, um, myths from, for instance, Eastern myths, um, I remember, I think it's an Indian myth, in which uh, the, the water, the waters were stirred were stirred and stirred and stirred and stirred until um, reality came, until reality rose in the waters. And I, I think that, <laughs> that might have something to do with the Empress. Anyway, uh, goes, um, the path of the High Priestess here goes from brilliant light, a sun, to... Uh, to the most intense darkness. It's it's kind of a rough card. There's a lot of uh, desolation and terror uh, felt on this path. Um, I know, I, I have I am a, a moon face fourteen, and so is Donald Trump. You may have heard that he's born at the full moon, but he's born a couple of hours before the full moon, a couple of degrees before the full moon. That would be four hours. Um, so, um, the, 
the path that is the high priestess is virtually a, a path of uh, you're working very hard to perfect yourself. You're working very hard to per perfect yourself. You're working very hard to be your own person and to manifest in that person. Right? You're very, um, uh, trying to maintain a very high vibration, high vibration. And all the time you're walking in this tunnel and not sure there's a light at the end of it. It's, um, uh, it, it almost makes me feel sorry for Donald Trump, but I've been in this tunnel all my life. And I can feel the light even though I cannot see it because at the end of the tunnel is the most intense darkness. Now that um, uh, Kabbalah is, um, Says, points out that we all want the light and are ready for the light. But the light does not, it hides a lot. The light holds, it's a blinding light and it hides a lot. You find the light in the darkness and that is the true light. That is the true light. So, um, Moon Phase 14. Um, it's it's ruled the um, Hebrew uh, letter is called Gimel, and it means camel. And um, you you look at her She's walking, 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 like you say, camel goes through the desert, carries its own water. You carry your own water. The high priestess is ruled by the moon. It's interesting that the the you notice the sun, and and the, the sun and the, his 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 forces rests on the moon. And the high priestess is ruled by the moon. And what it means is that when you've got a perfect Mercury, when your your Mercury and notice the Magus is the perfect Mercury, that moon rests on top of the sun. Like that, and that means that the the uh, uh, solar mind is wide open to the lunar mind. That means that the lunar mind is no longer a mystery. That the solar mind uh, um, uh, pays attention, follows its guidance, uh, knows what's going on because the moon is up here, as well as down here, as well as down here, the senses, the instinct, helping you to virtually to survive, okay, then we come to the magician, and that's the guy, anyway, I wanted to point out that, that Donald Trump, this is, this is a terrifying, um, 14 is very fear, fearful, now 28 should not be fearful, um, if 28 uh, has to learn that the body is a holy thing and that's what it's here for otherwise it would be um, a spirit um, guiding his, guarding a spring uh, of water or something like that uh, but um, for 14 I know personally that it's a very uh, uh, you have to deal with an awful lot you have to trust you have to trust. You have to learn to own your own self. You have to learn to listen to your own self, and which is unfortunately something that Donald uh, Trump can't do. Okay, let's go on to this is perfection. Yay, one and fifteen. They finished. They finished. They are the result. They are the result. One is the result of all that and 15 is the result of all this so um, this is uh, called when you do two of them when you put two of them together you know and, and that means that that, that uh, the Kabbalah that you've created that you've ex existed there's a is a, a unit a unit it's called the philosopher's stone it's your own unique 
contribution to human consciousness. The building block of the, the human edifice, so to speak. Anyway, um, here we've come to the music magician. Now he's a Mercury. Oops, sorry. Mercury. That's the Philosopher's Stone. The, um, the completed Mercury. Your own unique, one's own unique perspective gained through hard experience lifetime after lifetime. And I don't really like this um, ma magician, the Golden Dawn card very much, because I keep wondering if he hands her hold uh, there for a, a real reason, even though uh, it showed... It is a card of, 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 of knowing uh, your own... Uh, owning your own creative juices. Okay, so anyway, and on the table in front of him is a pentacle, earth, a wand, fire, a sword, air, and a cup, water. So he is... Uh, and uh, the... Um, infinity sign there at, on, on his head, at his hat. He's completed a um, at least one trip up the, the 15 has contrib completed one and uh, well he, you've always completed two. I mean every time you go up there you've got the one before to guide you and to urge you on um, so the he's a house. He's a philosopher's stone. He's built an edifice. Uh, the magus. The magus. What the magus does is because he's the end of a cycle. It's the very end of the cycle. And he's created something. He's created himself. And he's created something. What shall I do with this? What should I do with this? And after each trip up, there's this the magus invents the word that becomes the new the new impetus the new will the new blueprint the fool up here is um the ox the idea of the patient animal that we are um and the mind that we are and um uh, the blueprint that we have is created by the magus. He knows what he's doing. He said, okay, we've been here and next lifetime we shall go. Next, the next cycle. We shall aim for whatever, whatever. Because at the beginning, at the very beginning, he knows what he wants to do. He knows what he wants to do. He wants knows what that next uh, philosopher's stone should he wants to look like. Bam, that's Uranus. So here's the fool. He's the creative word. He's Aleph. The beginning. He's also the end. He's a vacuum. He's a, a wanting. A wanting. A wanting. And to be. And to do. And to become. So um, that's our trip up the Kabbalah for tonight, and I've enjoyed it, um, and I hope you have. Um, look up your moon phase. Find your moon phase, because I will be talking more about it in greater depth in the future. And so tonight, I wish you all well, and may the God and the Goddess bless. <laughs>